Hey guys, my name is AlexTZ and I will show you a couple of some Minecraft 1.17 redstone contraptions. So as some of you may know, of course, 1.17 has come out and it is a very good update and of course I wish it did include the mountains and the caves, but that will be added in 1.18 coming out this year as well in uh, the holidays. So everyone hopefully be excited for that. But I wanted to show you in this video two uh, redstone farms that I've actually recently uh, created uh, for you guys and to maybe use in your own Minecraft worlds. I might even make another video maybe two weeks from now maybe but matter of fact let's get into the actual video so as you can see here we have our two redstone contraptions here we have a zalia farm over here exhibit a and we have exhibit b our lava infinite lava farm which basically gives us infinite lava by the idea that these dripstone pointed dripstone actually drips lava which is also infinite because we have a lava source above it so that's how this is happening and i think this is pretty self-explanatory we have um, observers pistons and we have a very simple a very sh delayed uh, rest of pulse however this build is not so much it, it looks a bit complicated especially when you look under We've got a little uh, massive redstone clock here we have uh, pistons hoppers uh, chests here and even observer action going on here so uh, this basically is a infinite in a way almost azalea farm now the way this is powered is by bone meal i have already put bone meal in the system so if i actually can just and interact here there's a lot of bone meal in these droppers here no dispensers sorry and basically uh this is actually how it all works so we got I've got a couple of lines leading to some pistons with redstone blocks and we also have our moss block right above us and then our collection system right down here which actually so far I've been on this thing for like two hours now and this is pretty much built quite a lot produced quite a lot of azalea already so let's waste no further ado and let's show you how you build this azalea farm. So the first thing you will need to get for this farm is you need to find yourself a solid block. Now this could be anything that isn't like uh, very breakable or something that can be burned. So like wool for example. So I would advise to get the iron knife for example use copper. Next you need to get your redstone dust, some repeaters, hopper, you need dispensers, an observer. And you also need a bit of redstone torches and redstone blocks and a piston as well. So this, or actually you really should get a sticky piston, sorry. You don't need a piston here. And now, we've pretty much got all the stuff necessary. Now I haven't actually exactly put the amount of items. So you just have to follow this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to actually do this. So as you can see me, I am trying to kind of line things up here and I start building a cross. Now I'm just going to uh, basically let you watch this little bit here. So I basically go roughly uh, nine, of, uh, 9 by width and then the length being roughly 10 from what I remember. To give you a look there, you can just count the amount of numbers there are and the amount of blocks there are and I'm just going to fast forward now around here. And now what you got to do is now you have to go get your moss block. Now this is able to be, this is kind of the main part of the farm. So you're going to need at least a bit of moss blocks. And I don't exactly know where you can find these in, in the, in the natural world of Minecraft yet. I think they don't exa yet exist because we don't have lush caves yet in Minecraft. So I have to assume that I, I don't exactly know where you get these blocks. So I might need to go find that out or you can go find out yourselves. But you're going to need a little bit of lush block, uh, not lush, uh, moss blocks before you get started. So also you do want to put a two block height perimeter just in case. And also I did make the walls too thick. So then the items don't end up like glitching through the, the wall. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm adding the hopper track. It is the way that the water 
uh, as well the items will be collected into and be put into the chests obviously the more you the more um, production in this farm the bigger the amount of storage you may need but in this uh, example here i didn't really put that uh, that much of a large chest size i just put i think a double chest here as i can see or actually you know i did have more space by having two double chests so there you go i don't see you guys out there i don't see you guys doing uh, these type of farms in a mass scale, but maybe it's just for a very short term. So now what I'm doing here is I'm now placing two holes there, and that is where the water will be dispensed from, as you can tell. So here I am placing the dispensers. So now what you got to do next is you got to put uh, the, the actual dispensers in which the bone meal will actually go into. So as you can see me going here, you put it in three different locations. You one here, the other one over on the other opposite side, and you have to put them directly um, in front of the moss block. And then finally you have this one in the front, and there you go. Next, you got to start putting the pistons with the redstone blocks. As you can see here, I am now putting them in. So you put them literally one block just below the uh, dispensers so then the, when they get powered the piston will extend and the rest of the block will power the dispenser now what i'm building here might be the i guess maybe the semi complicated a bit i don't know this redstone contraption is somewhat complex it's not complicated for a a redstoner who knows what he's doing like I would say I know a, th a little bit of resto. I'm not a pro. I'm not mumbo jumbo, so j don't 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 bring that up to me. But still, so here I am now, just checking here if I got it right because I wish I did this a little bit easier. But and then what you got to do next is you now have to put all these repeaters around four ticks. So pull them pretty much pull the stick all the way back to the end and that should do the trick however on the very last one only pull it back once there you go as you can see there and then that should be it for that part of the contraption now we go towards the actual piston extension thing which we haven't built yet so we're going to go do that now So what I'm building now is basically the little part of the contraption which allows the system to go over twice or be able to be powered twice. So what I need to do is that those dispensers, oh, I am going somewhere, what the hell, oh, I'm checking something. Uh, but basically, I, I am basically trying to make a system which basically goes over twice. So I actually made a bit of a mistake here. I, I have not seen it yet. In the past, me has not seen it yet, but he will see it later in this clip. However, I'm basically doing this. So then the, oh, never mind. He's going to check it again. There you go. And I've yet to notice that this thing is one longer, one block longer than the other side. But we continue. So next what we do here is we extend this by two blocks and then we add the kind of, L, the way that that bit there will be connected to up there. So what we do is we add a repeater just in case uh, if the, uh, the distance is too long. And then we build a redstone elevator, which for the past year or for the past seven years of playing Minecraft, I only knew how to do this probably only a year ago. So <laughs> yeah, this is how you build them. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. You just have to build a block above a redstone torch and that's how you do an elevator. And then you got redstone dust leading all the way up to this area here. And I got a couple of dust, sprinkle a bit around, put a redstone repeater just in case, or just because why not? Another one right there. And that should be it for that bit up there. 
I'm just going to look around, checking for anything else. It's looking pretty good. I think it's pretty much the same at this point. And finally, the last thing you got to do is add a hopper line connecting to all three of the dispensers that are obviously dispensing the bone meal. So we obviously put one on that side, then we put one on this side, and then we trail it around the contraption. And then we have another one right here as well, which we put right in the middle, and then this one's also connecting towards the other end. And then we take three hoppers, and then we put them out a little bit further, and that's where we put our chests, where we put the bone meal on. Now, you probably need quite a lot of bone meal, if you're going to run this thing for quite a while. But again, this farm is, I honestly feel like not many people will actually use this farm. Or matter of fact, probably nobody will use this farm. But it's out there. It's on YouTube now. So it is what it is. And now I'm going to bunch a bone meal and I'm just going to put it in the chests. And there you go. And that's how you build the azalea farm now i think hopefully even if you're lucky guys uh you might get another video next week and that video will be another video similar to this except i will teach you how to make the flower farm and another farm i will be including in that video and so once again hope you enjoyed this video and i will hopefully bring that video to you next week on how to build a flower farm and another farm like a bit like not like this one another just a, a throwaway in there so let me just actually power this thing and i'll let you watch it as you go into the outro oh oh boy <laughs> i might have forgotten one thing i might have forgotten one little aspect i have might have forgotten let me just turn it off very quickly here you go and yep that should be fine I might have forgotten about the bucket, so this might be, in I think we're not entering the bloopers at this point of this video. <laughs> um, here you go, now that should work, if I press that. Now, there you go, okay. Hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, I see. I see my mistakes. Oh boy, I feel that I kind of feel a little embarrassed now. I literally thought I knew how to build this. There you go. Oh, there's a bit of a mistake. It's been a mistake. There has been a mistake. Oh boy. I feel sorry for all those who literally did this. Okay. Um, I need to power these. Oh god. Okay. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Let me check the other one and see what I did. Alright, it's four ticks apparently. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's into here. Nope. There. Right. Is that going the right direction? What the hell? Wait a minute. I actually feel a little embarrassed now. Okay. Uh, yes. I should go in this direction. Okay. Although, it's... Oh. Why? Why did I do this to myself? Okay. This, my friend, is why you watch the end of the videos. If you watch, if you watch to the end of these videos, then you are actually going to be the ones who are actually making this farm correctly. You're going to be the ones who actually make this farm correctly. And I feel bad for those who are going to make this farm incorrectly because I didn't want them to do that. But you see Alex got a little stupid here and forgot that he needed to add a little bit here. So I think everything now should work. And let me just play this thing and... Oh my god. Please. I don't want you. Rain. Rain, just go away. There you go. Now what? Oh, there you go. 
that. Okay, now it should work. There you go. There you go. See, it works now. <laughs> oh god. Oh, if you if you have stuck to the very end, I want you to comment down in the section down below, Azalea. If you comment down Azalea in the comment section down below, I will know you were that one person who actually went and watched the entire video. So again, if you didn't watch, if you did enjoy this video, subscribe. It'll help me out. And.